Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to install and configure iSCSI server in Windows Server 2016. iSCSI means Internet Small Computer System Interface that allows to send SCSI command over LAN or WAN. While accessing storage devices using iSCSI, the client will be referred as a iSCSI initiator and the storage devices will be referred as a iSCSI target. The first thing required to configure Windows Server 2016 as a iSCSI server is to install iSCSI target server role on Server 2016. So let's open Server Manager Console and on uh, Server Manager Console click on Add Roles and Features. On uh, Before you begin screen click on Next. On Select Installation Type screen we have to select Role Base or Feature Base Installation and then click on Next. On a select destination server, we are selecting our local server ws2016-dc01.mylab.local because in our server pool, we have only one server. Let's click on next. Expand file and storage services, expand file and iSCSI services and select iSCSI target server. Click on next. Click on next again and click on install to start the installation process. When the installation process has finished, click on close to close this console. To share storage, the first thing we need to create is an iSCSI virtual disk. On a server manager window, click on file and storage services. Now let's uh, click on iSCSI. To create an iSCSI virtual disk, we have to click over here. So let's click on it. That will start a new iSCSI virtual disk wizard. Now on this wizard, First, we have to select our server. In our case, we have only one server and that is ws2016-dc01. So select this server and now you have to select a volume where you want to store iSCSI virtual disk. I'm going to select E drive and then I'm going to click on next button. Now here, we have to specify the name of iSCSI virtual disk. Let's specify name vdisk1. The path will be e colon slash iSCSI virtual disk slash vdisk one dot vhdx. Let's click on next. Now here you have to specify the iSCSI virtual disk size. For this demonstration, I'm going to use 99.7 GB, the complete size of that partition. Now here we have options to specify iSCSI virtual disk type. First option is fixed size, second one is dynamically expanding and third one is differencing. For this demonstration, I'm going to select dynamically expanding. Let's click on next. Now if you have an existing iSCSI target, you can select it from here. For us, we do not have any existing iSCSI target. So we have to create new iSCSI target. So select new iSCSI target and then click on next. Now here we have to specify the target name. Let's specify WS2016 hyphen iSCSI. Let's click on next. So now we need to choose the access server who will be accessing iSCSI virtual disk and for that we have to click on add button. Now here we have options to identify the iSCSI initiator. First option is query initiator computers for ID that is not supported on Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows 7 or earlier versions of Windows Server. For this demonstration, we are going to select enter a value for selected type and type will be IP address. Specify the IP address of iSCSI initiator who is going to connect to this iSCSI target server. In our case, the IP address of our iSCSI initiator is 192.168.49.110. Let's click on OK. So here you can see we just specify the iSCSI initiator that will access this iSCSI virtual disk. You can also add multiple iSCSI initiator on the screen to access this iSCSI virtual disk. But for this demonstration, we are just going to add only one iSCSI initiator. Let's click on next. You can enable CHAP or reverse CHAP authentication, but that is totally optional. And for this demonstration, we are not going to use authentication. Let's click on next. And here, review the settings which you have selected. Once you are happy with that, click on create to finish the setup. 
Let's click on close to close this visual. Now here you can see we have a one iSCSI virtual disk stored under e colon slash iSCSI virtual disk slash vdisk1.vhd that is the name of our iSCSI virtual disk. Right now virtual disk status is not connected and target status is not connected. The initiator IP address is 192.168.49.110. That is the IP address of our initiator server. So in the next step, we will be configuring iSCSI initiator on our member server to connect this iSCSI target. So let's move to our member server. Let's log in as a domain administrator on this server. Let's open saw manager console. On a server manager console, click on tools, select iSCSI initiator. You will receive one message. If iSCSI has not been started on this server, this message box will appear. If the pop-up does not appear, that just means the service is already up and running and that is normal. If you click on yes button, that will start Microsoft iSCSI initiator service as well as change the startup mode of iSCSI service to automatically. Let's click on yes. And that will open iSCSI initiator properties. But before we set up iSCSI initiator, let's again click on tools and select services. Find the service, start with Microsoft iSCSI initiator and this is a service. If you see a startup mode, that is automatic and service status is up and running. Let's close this console. And let's come back to iSCSI initiator properties. On the first step, I'm going to click on discovery tab and I'm going to click on discover portal to add target portal. Here I'm going to specify the IP address of our iSCSI target server and that is 192.168.49.101. That is the IP address of our iSCSI target server. This is the port number and that is default port for uh, iSCSI 3260. Let's click on Advance. On Gender tab, under Connect Using, select Microsoft iSCSI Initiator as a local adapter. Under Initiator IP, select the IP address 192.168.49.110. That is the IP address of our this Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK again. And now, let's click on Targets tab. All iSCSI volumes available on the iSCSI storage server should be listed under discovered targets. In our case, we have only one iSCSI target and that is displayed here. If you have a multiple iSCSI target, you can see them all under discovered targets. Select the target you wish to use and then click on connect. In our case, we have only one target and that is selected by default. Let's click on connect. Now this is the options which is selected by default. Add this connection to the list of favorite targets. Now click on advance. Under general tab, select local adapter Microsoft iSCSI initiator. Under initiator IP address, select the local IP address. In my case that is 192.168.49.110. And under target portal IP address, select the IP address which we specified earlier on discovery portal. And that is 192.168.49.101 slash 3260. This is the IP address of our iSCSI target server and this is the TCP port for iSCSI target. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK again. And now let's move to volumes and devices tab. To configure all available device automatically, you have to click on auto configure. So let's click on it. And that's the complete the configuration of iSCSI initiator on this server. Let's click on OK to close this iSCSI initiator properties. Now let's click on file and storage services. Click on disk. Okay, this is the, our disk 0 on which we have installed Windows Server 2016. And this is the disk 1 which we have added using iSCSI initiator. As you can see, this is read-only. Right click on it and select bring online. 
there will be your message if disk is already online on another server bringing the disk online on this server can cause data loss are you sure you want to bring this disk online on this server click on yes okay now right click on disk 1 and select initialize click on yes that will initialize this disk with gpt partition style okay now let's create one volume on our disk 1 click on next select disk 1 and click on next again specify the size i'm going to use the uh, complete size click on next assign travel letter i'm going to assign i for iSCSI click on next here you can select the file system for this demonstration i'm going to use refs click on next and click on create to create a new volume on disk 1 click on close to complete the process and let's select disk 1 and under disk 1 as you can see we have a one volume with travel letter i and this new drive is ready to store data for you let's open this pc to make sure that the partition is working on file explorer click on this pc let's double click on it and let's create one folder under that partition let's specify name folder one so here you can see we are able to create folder and we can store data on this volume so that's all about install and configure iSCSI on windows server 26 we had install and configure iSCSI target on windows server 2016 first then we configure iSCSI initiator on the next server and that works very well for us i hope this video will helpful for you guys thank you all for watching this video